Here we're just going to calculate a stock return. So the rate of return or the percentage return for a stock. Think about the timeline that describes the investor's experience. And so this is going to be a one period timeline and the purchase price is out here. That's $40 and 80 seven cents then in uh, period one so that's one year from the purchase got a dividend of 255 and a sales price of 45 dollars and 26 cents so going back to our fundamentals uh, when we do time value of money calculations we're really after a discount rate that sets the present value of all of this equal to the price. And so if you think about a standard present value formula, look like this, right? So there is, we're gonna call P zero, there is D one, and there is P1. So we can solve this for R. So first of all, we'll put 1 plus R over here, cross multiplying, and over on the right side, we've got sum of the two cash flows that happen at time 1, scaled by 40.87. And solving for R, we have 2.55 plus 45.26 divided by purchase price, and then we're gonna subtract one from that number. And so R here is equal to 16.98% or 0.1698. All right, so uh, we, we could also uh, write this, again, recognizing that we've got D1 here, P1, and P0, and then here we've got 1. We could rewrite all of this algebraically as simply R is P1 plus P1 minus p0 so i'm pulling the one over here into my fraction and divide that by p0 okay so uh, thinking about this intuitively here in the numerator we have the dollar gain right so the dollar gain is going to be uh, the sum of the dividend and the new price minus the old price and over here we just have the starting price so it's a little bit more intuitive to think about it this way. Um, either way, we're going to get to the same answer.